Continuing on with the Chapter 7 capstone, this time we're going to take a look at um, Step E under the Perform Calculations section. So here we have another nested logical function. So we're going to do an if statement again. We're going to put it in I8. And um, we want this function to, in the end, display need to remodel if the apartment's unoccupied and was last remodeled more than 10 years ago. Um, so that's when it'll say need to remodel. Otherwise, it should display no change. Okay, so let's hop over to Excel and take a look at this then. So we know it's an if statement, so we're just going to start with equals if. We know that it's a nested if statement and that as we read the instructions that there's two conditions that it has to meet. So that'll tell us that the nested part of this is an and function. So I'm going to type that in or select it from the list. So it has to be unoccupied. So we can see that E8, in E8 um, sits our status of whether it's occupied or not. So we're going to say E8 has to equal no. And because no is text, it has to go in quotes so that Excel will understand it. That's one test that it has to meet. The other test that it has to meet is whether it's been remodeled in the last 10 years. Last remodeled sits in... Oh, sorry, what we're going to do for last remodel, because we don't want to um, do math to figure out how long it is, we have that length of time sitting in G8. So we'll say whether or not G8 is greater than, um, and it's supposed to be 10 years, which sits in H3. So we're going to do um, G8 greater than H dollar sign 3, and the dollar sign ensures that the 3 doesn't change. It should always point to H3. So if those two things are, tr are true, if those two tests are passed, then, so I'm going to um, put in a parenthesis to, to finish up the AND function. I'm going to add a comma to get back to my IF function. The next part of the IF function is what to do if it's true. So if, that, if both tests are true, then the instructions tell us that we should um, return the phrase need to remodel. And we put that in quotation marks because it's text, add a comma, and then tell Excel what to do if the test is false, if either one of those parts of the test are false. And what the instructions tell us to return is the phrase no change. And again, because it's text, it goes in quotation marks. All right, nice and long, wrap up your final parentheses there. Uh, once you have it ready, you think it's good to go, press enter. Oh no, what did I do? Um, Oh, look at here, I forgot. After the if function, my left-hand parentheses, and statement, da, da, da. see, I should have double-checked before I pressed the Enter key. All right, now I'm gonna try it again, fingers crossed. Yay, it worked. All right, and then, as always, as the human being, you should look and see, do these make sense? Is it unoccupied? Has it been um, less than 10 years? And then just make sure that it returns the result that it should. Email me if you have any questions at all.